Hi, Larry Koontz with Elite Guitarist. I'm really excited to open up a new series of video lessons which focus on through composed compositions um, that are stylistically in the jazz mode yet coming from the American songbook. So we're talking about composers like Jerome Kern, George Gershwin, Richard Rogers, Johnny Green, classic American songs that, um, that you should all, or some of you will have some level of familiarity with. And I love these songs. And what I've done is I've taken each one of them and arranged them in such a way that it sort of brings out a, 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 a jazz stylistic approach in terms of phrasing and in terms of rhythmic um, performance. So these performances are full of information on a harmonic level and on a melodic level. And my discussion right now is, is sort of a foreword to the performances and the descriptions of those performances so that you can have an idea of what goes into making some of these things and um, uh, you have a working knowledge before sort of jumping in. So I should say that I've taken, for the most part, the classic melodic approach for each of these tunes. Now you have to realize on guitar, and I've talked about this in some of my other videos earlier, we only have four fingers that are responsible for pitch material. So a lot of these arrangements will have sporadic bass motion, um, more emphasis on the melodic motion, and occasionally references to something in the middle that's happening harmonically. So we have the bass on the bottom, harmony in the middle, melody on the top. For the most part, melody is king. If there's any one of those elements that can be missing, it's, it's not melody. Harmony can be missing, bass can be missing, and you can still have a picture of the, of the piece from the melody. The melody has a sense of, um, of connecting you to the groove of the tune. It's also the central story melody is the is the thing that can exist and has a lot of rhythmic variety so it's really central to the storytelling so as these videos move along you'll get a sense of how to play these pieces mechanically in terms of the right and the left hand right i will mainly talk about left hand fingerings all these pieces are going to be performed finger style because there's a lot of counterpoint and it doesn't lend itself well to a pick it's not that you can't play these with with a pick because a lot of these pieces can be performed uh, to a certain degree with a pick um, but they're more uh, eloquent when played finger style because it's difficult to play inner voices and move those inner voices when you have a down stroke with a pick hitting a number of different strings. Um, so as we go along this journey of moving through these pieces, you'll notice that I'm going to take a lot of time with each bar. So the information that can be contained in the description of each of these bars is multi-level. So if you're more of a beginner, and you don't want to deal with more of the theory, feel free to fast forward to the next bar. There will be indications of which bar that I'm dealing with, uh, with a graphic beneath the video. Um, so feel free to not deal with that information. But if you would like to deal with that information, having to do with naming chord symbols, uh, giving you harmonic information about substitu substitutions, um, in the context of a tune, um, there also might be information dealing with um, melodic improvisation to a certain extent. My improvisation that is written, because again, these you will be dealing with pieces that are through composed, like classical pieces, but I'll talk about how I derive that information. You'll also notice that sometimes the melodies are altered a little bit from the original. 
in that I want to impart a sense of jazz rhythm to these pieces. A lot of these pieces were written for Broadway in the, in the 40s and 50s. Um, that's sort of the heyday for the American songbook. And the original performance of, of these pieces is, is in a very straight style, um, not swung. Um, so a lot of the rhythmic content that you'll find in the, in the melodies are uh, rhythms that are closely associated with, with a jazz stylistic performance. Occasionally, you'll encounter an awkward fingering in the tablature and in my left hand description. Um, the only reason that I would use an awkward fingering is because it has, has a good musical reason to, to have that awkward fingering. Maybe it's because I want a bottom note to sustain while middle notes are sort of moving melodically, or I want a top note, a melody note, to sustain while stuff is moving beneath it. So there's always a rational choice, and that rational choice is always based on, is it a musical thing to do? Um, I think when it's great music, it's, it's a lot easier to sort of make that awkward fingering work because you want to hear it. Also, there's hours and hours, I would say there are probably about close to 20 hours of materials that are, con that are dealing, and I'm talking about video lessons that are already available on uh, EliteGuitars.com, uh, video lessons that contain conceptual material dealing with um, improvisation, how to use chord scales over, over uh, chord progressions, how to develop chord vocabulary, how to develop chord melody soloing um, technique. There are hours and hours of those videos, and those are in a section of elite guitarists that I'm gonna call the go deeper section. So occasionally in the lesson I might say, if you wanna go deeper, you can access these materials um, by looking at this video lesson. For the most part, the go deeper material that you encountered in those other lessons is not going to be present in these descriptions of pieces that I wrote through Composed. So um, I'm really looking forward to this section of the video lessons because we're dealing with music that is timeless. And it's so satisfying to put them on the guitar because, again, unlike a pianist, we can't play bass harmony and melody. So we have to let the illusion of what's not there sort of fill in some of the gaps. And that's part of the magical quality of jazz guitar, what you leave out. So um, I look forward to you joining me in these video lessons and uh, I'll see you on the other side.